Hello and welcome to moving day. It's going to be a busy one. I've semi-packed almost everything. To be honest, I actually did start packing in good time about a week ago, but um, I ran out of boxes now and I didn't know what to leave and what to take in the interim. So it's a bit of a hectic mess behind me and around me, but hopefully I'll try to kind of pack the rest of my stuff in like random bags like this and um, hopefully I will get everything sorted today and I still don't have the house keys so I need to run over to pick up the house keys at some point soon and then rush right back because I have a meeting which I forgot to reschedule so I'll have to do that today and then uh, the moving guys are going to be over and hopefully helping me to kind of take these things over to the new place and yeah I hope by the end of the day at least all the things will be transported from this place to that place so that's one less thing that i need to worry about because um yeah let's see how it goes slightly nervous but also already tired the only thing keeping me going is this i don't know if you've ever tried this sort of like um salty licorice it's like sanyaki my friend brought it to me from finland it's literally one of my favorite sweets it's not really sweet but um it falls into under the sweets category and yes yeah, so i'll be eating a whole bunch of that and packing for the next few hours. So yeah, let's see how that goes. You'd think after moving house 27 times, I'd be expecting this move to be just as overpriced, exhausting and tragic as the rest. But apparently I'm an optimist because I did not expect everything that happened. After managing to pack or throw away or donate and for some things wish to burn everything I own, I managed to gather my life in boxes and bags. So I'm officially exhausted but most of my stuff is now packed and the drivers are due to arrive in a few minutes so I'm actually going to sit down and rest for a few seconds um, while I wait. The first interesting event was my moving guys almost cancelling on me as the parking around my flat was blocked for the day. After helping them take my things farther away than was comfortable for any of us, all in the rain, I spent the next two hours driving to my new place only to be faced yet again with more parking issues. At long last, I managed to slump on my new flat's floor and after wondering if I would have the energy to do anything at all today, I suddenly had a bout of inspiration. If you know me, you know I have absolutely no self-control when it comes to getting started with work. So instead of being sane and waiting for help, I started to arrange the furniture in my room by myself. I wanted to make space for a desk, so I ended up moving a wardrobe out of the room. I honestly feel it would have been easier to carve out the wardrobe out of a tree than it was to drag the heavy thing across the carpet. Fighting friction and gravity for the better part of two hours, I did manage to finally take the wardrobe where I wanted it to be and as soon as my adrenaline ran out, I realized I'd given myself some beautiful bruises all over my knees. Fabulous. Being given a fresh chance to just stop there, I of course didn't take it and went straight ahead and moved my bed into its new place, now having a completely empty room ready for all the furniture I currently don't have. Well, I'm absolutely dying. <laughs> that was, that was, um, it, that was an adventure. Um, I have finally managed to move the closet into the other room and I'm literally dying. I'm so hot right now. Oh my god, um, I still haven't figured out how I'm going to organize this room. I'm kind of hoping to have something cool, like a cool wall to film against or something. So I'll see if I can figure that out. But yeah, now I'm just going to um, catch my breath and get some water and um, explore the rest of the house. Fully. I ended the day testing out the essentials, the tap water in the new flat and the bath, which I took while listening to Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows audiobook, an experience that I would definitely rate a 10 out of 10. I fell asleep exhausted, bruised, but excited. I'm planning on shopping for plants, a desk and food, all in that order of importance tomorrow. The next day, I went to Ikea with my flatmate and spent more than I'd like to admit on plants and essentials and came back home to play Bob the Builder again with my new shelves, chair and new standing desk. All while I sob profoundly to Dobby and Fred's death. Spoiler alert, sorry. I've wanted one for the longest time because I aspire to be less lazy when I'm just in front of my computer all day.
And although I've discovered working sitting down is apparently much more comfortable than standing up, I'm slowly training myself to be better at the standing thing and it's honestly so much fun. What is not fun, however, is not having internet. We've had connection issues, which are still not resolved. And so it took me over six hours to upload my previous YouTube video and I've been forced to take an involuntary hit on my efficiency in having fun online, working and managing to actually stay on Zoom calls throughout. It's been a good excuse, however, to just go out and explore the area, which is much cleaner and spacious than where I last lived, minus the lovely views from my bedroom though. Let me know if you fancy a flat tour at some point, but in the meantime, see you with hopefully a better internet connection when it's here. Bye.